As the film story begins, a man comes out of the water while swimming. He looks at everything around him and says, no, this is not my world. My world is somewhere else. Where is it? I know and I have a hope that I will reach my world. As he says this, this man named Kevin disappears. After it, the scene shifts and we see Kevin in his normal world. He is upset and sitting in a bar because all his money in the stock market has drowned. At this time, a girl named Molly comes and sits next to him. She wanted to talk to Kevin and says what happened. You look sad. Kevin says in response, Yes, I am very upset so please go away from here. Molly says no, I will sit next to you because I like sad people and anyway, I didn't come here for you. I have come to fix your mood while betting for it with my friend. Kevin allows her to sit next to him even though he does not want to. He was now starting to like Molly's company and they become good friends while talking. After a while, they get married. Time passes, these two were happy with each other. They did not know that their happiness was not going to last long. One day, while returning home from the office, Kevin was involved in a severe accident when he collided with a truck. When he came to his senses at that time, he was on an empty road absolutely safe and looks around. There was no one except an old man, no human, no traffic. He asks this old man, I had an accident, where is my car? My phone? I have to call my wife. And in response to all this, the man says you will not be able to do anything like this. Kevin, because you are in another world. At the time of the accident, I took you out of there and brought you here. The old man standing here now introduces himself to Kevin and says I am a benefactor. My job is to shift people from one world to another. While talking, he called Kevin to a restaurant. Kevin says, stop kidding me, I want to go back to my world. Why did you bring me here? The benefactor says, yes, I brought you into this world so that you can become a shifter like me. Your job will be to bring people from the real world who are sad and angry to this world. Kevin says in response, I do not believe that this is possible. Give me proof. The witness who is sitting with you disappear her. The benefactor says nothing but presses some code on the watch tied to his hand, and this girl disappears. After knowing the truth, even Kevin was scared. He says to him, I don't want to be a shifter, please send me back to my wife. But the benefactor says no, until you become a shifter, you will stay here, but Kevin refuses to become a shifter. He says, I will not bring anyone from the real world here. He was now praying to God that God should take him out of here. Seeing him praying to God, the benefactor gets angry and leaves from there. After that, Kevin goes out to see this world. The people here were angry and in a strange frenzy. No one spoke to anyone. There were fights and there were almost no families here. There was not much to eat here. People would kill each other out of hunger. Time passes and Kevin gradually spends five years living in this place. In the news of this world. There was still news that the benefactor had offered Kevin to become a shifter and Kevin had refused him. Kevin was still trying to find a shifter here who would take him to his wife, but he had not succeeded in this attempt. Here, he also made a friend named Gabriel, for whom Kevin wrote a Bible, which was forbidden. Kevin now goes to such a person who has such technology through which people from the real world can be seen. Kevin wanted to see his wife here. After a lot of trying, he sees her. He says to this man, I want to go back to my wife, tell me her location. But that man says I can't do that. All I can do is to show you your wife. Kevin comes out and a lot of people were protesting outside. Kevin and his friend Gabriel also go and stand among them. The police was standing in front of them, but suddenly, one of these protesting men ran away and disappeared. As he ran away, the police started shooting people. Kevin and Gabriel hide in a building. Here Kevin says to Gabriel, that man was able to escape because he was a shifter. I also just need a shifter and an anger. Gabriel replies, just give up your efforts. Neither will you get a shifter, nor will you be able to get out of here. Kevin now goes to a shopping mall to shop for himself, 
where he sees a boy. This seven-year-old child had disappeared in front of Kevin's eyes and come back the next moment. Seeing this child, Kevin remembers his son who had also disappeared in a shopping mall. After remembering this, Kevin was even more sad. In this mall, Kevin also meets a man named Nadir. That man calls Kevin by his real name and says, I know you are hungry. If you want, you can come to my house and eat. Nadir was a man who had a family here, his wife, two daughters. Kevin goes to his house with him. Nadir knew that Kevin still remembers the Bible and a lot of things of the other world. That these people have forgotten. He wanted Kevin to teach his daughters everything he remembers. In return, he will let him stay in his house and will give him food. Before Kevin gets excited, alarms start ringing here. They quickly turn on the news and discover that the benefactor, who had been absent from this world for many years, is scheduled to return tomorrow. Knowing this, Kevin's hope was awakened again to go to his world. Kevin quickly goes to the man who had the technology to know the location of people in the real world. He asks him for Molly's location. But this man says you will not be able to know the location until you have that special kind of shifter bracelet. Now only with the benefactor has the shifter bracelet. And if Kevin wanted to get it, he had to kill the benefactor for which he takes a gun from Gabriel. Although he knows that it is illegal to keep a gun in this world. In the morning, the benefactor had also come to this world. There was a tight police security. People wanted to meet the benefactor as they consider him their god. But Kevin didn't, and to shoot him, Kevin somehow reaches his restaurant while escaping from the police. Before Kevin shoots him, the benefactor sees a gun in his hand and disappears from there. Now the police had also found out that Kevin had come to attack the benefactor. That's why they shoot Kevin from outside the restaurant. Kevin hides on a side. He now began to understand that he will never be able to meet his wife. As he thought this, the benefactor comes to him and says how many years ago I offered you to become a shifter. You did not listen to me, that's why you are regretting today. If you had listened to me, you would not have been crying here today. Either you would have been at home or you would have become their savior. Kevin says, I don't want to become anyone's savior. I just want to go home to my wife, Molly. After that, the benefactor asks him, where did you get the gun from? Did Gabriel gave you this? And then teleports Gabriel here through his shifter machine. After scolding Gabriel, the benefactor says to Kevin, what did you think? I don't know anything about what's going on here. I also know what you write on the Bible pages, saying this, he disappeared from here. As he left. The police who were standing outside also started shooting them. A bullet hits Gabriel, and he dies. Kevin hides behind the sofa and escapes. While escaping, Kevin sees Gabriel's hand in which there was the shifter's bracelet. Means his friends kept it a secret that he was a shifter. But anyway, Kevin could find Molly's location through this device and go there. As Kevin puts Gabriel's device on his hand, he dials some codes and teleports to another world. This was not Kevin's world. He had recognized it. He enters some codes again and teleports to another world. This time, he falls into the water, recreating the same scene we saw at the beginning of the movie. He knows this is not his world, but he will reach his world while finding his wife. He has this hope. He enters some codes again and teleports to another world. This world was no less than a mental hospital, and there was Dr. Gabriel. He finds many variants of Gabriel who were completely after him. He goes to the other side and finds a girl weeping. Perhaps he had seen this girl before, and now she, weeping, says, My life has become insane because of you. Remember? You were the one who asked the benefactor to disappear me. He teleported me, and I am still here. Kevin feels bad about this. He apologizes to Tina. He was talking about it meanwhile. The variants of Gabriel come and start shooting him. Before Kevin dies, he enters some codes on his device and teleports to another world. Kevin sees his second variant, let's say his lookalike. He asks Kevin who are you and how did you come here? Kevin doesn't understand anything. 
He apologizes to him, but during this, he sees the device in Kevin's hand. He says to Kevin, where did you get this device from? Give me this device, and I will give you what you want in return. But Kevin refuses because he had to go to his wife at any cost. Before the other man shoots him. Kevin enters some code on the device and reaches the same world where the benefactor was. He falls at Nadir's house and sees that Nadir is injured by the police's bullets. Because the police thought that Nadir has hidden Kevin. Nadir leaves with a hope that one day he will definitely get out of here. Kevin goes to the man whose monitors can tell him his wife's location with this device's help. While the man was searching for Molly's location, the police arrived, having tracked him down. They were just going to arrest him, but before that, Kevin's companion tells him the code of Molly's location. And entering the code, Kevin had reached his real world before the police arrested him. Molly, who was in the mall at that time, was also surprised to see Kevin after so many years. She is also angry with Kevin and says, You remember? You left me alone. He says, I never left you alone, and shows her his wedding ring and says, The years I was away from you, I was missing you. I was trying to come back to you, Molly, believe me. Molly tells him to go back to where he came from because she is married now. Kevin breaks down and says to Molly, Please don't do this. I will die without you. Molly says if you want to live with me, then I have a condition that you find our lost child and bring him to me. I will also leave everything, and we will start living our lives again. Molly had left and Kevin was broken. Meanwhile, we see that the benefactor teleports him back to his world. The benefactor was angry and says to Kevin, what do you think that you will leave this world easily, and I will not do anything? Now you will be punished for what you have done to me. Kevin was silent, as if he didn't care about anything. The benefactor says you have two options. One is to send him back to his old life to his wife. And the other is to send the girl to her life, whom I sent to the mental asylum, because of you. The benefactor was testing him because the world in which Kevin was, everyone has become selfish here. The benefactor knows that Kevin will decide to go back in his life, but surprisingly, he took the other option. And he decides to send the girl into her previous life. Listening to Kevin, the benefactor sent Tina to her family. They see that she was happy to go to her house, but the benefactor becomes furious. Because Kevin does opposite of his thinking and being furious, he shoots Kevin. Kevin opens his eyes into a new world. He was standing near a bar and goes inside it. There, he sees Molly, his wife, sitting. He thinks this is a chance he goes to her and asks you are looking upset. What happened? Looking at Kevin, Molly says it was an 18-hour shift, and I have to go home. Now I am tired. They were talking and Molly gets her daughter's call, and Kevin finds out that Molly is married in this world. As she cuts the call, he asks, are you married? But she says, yes, but I don't live with my husband. He becomes happy to know this. He becomes her friend and then invites her for tea. They get married after some time and Kevin and Molly start living a happy life again. At the end of the story, Kevin says, I know this isn't my world, but I will adjust in this world. Because I have Molly, my wife with me in this world. The movie concludes with it.